Section 2.7, Proofs, Angle Pair Relationships. In this section, we're going to be working on some important proofs of theorems. Now remember, a theorem is a statement that we can prove, and then once we have proved it, we can use that theorem as a justification or a reason in a future proof. In order to prove these theorems, you need, do need to make sure that you remember the following definition. Right angles, remember right angles are angles that whose measure, measure equals 90 degrees. Complementary angles are angles whose measures add to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are angles whose measures add to 180 degrees. A linear pair is a pair of adjacent supplementary angles. And vertical angles are when we have two intersecting lines, the angles opposite one another are vertical angles. Here is also a little sketch for a linear pair. Now we'll be working through proving the relationships between these angles in class, but you will also need to know some practice computation problems. And let's dive right into an example. In example one, I want you to find the values of x and y, and then find the measure of each angle. Go ahead, work through this on your own, pause the video, and resume when you're ready. First thing, we want to look at our diagram. We should notice that we have our variable x, and then we also have our y. The x's are located in the two angles that are vertical one another. And we know from talking about this quite extensively in class that vertical angles are congruent, which means we can set their measures equal to one another. Distribute the two. Subtract 6x from both sides. Add 10 to both sides. And then divide by 4. We should find that x equals 15. We can go through a similar process for y. And notice we do not need to write that x equals 15 degrees because it's not a degree. It's simply a value within this chunk that is the degree. Looking at our picture, we see that the terms with y's are also across from one another. Another pair of vertical angles. We set vertical angles congruent, which means their measures are equal to one another, and solve. Subtract 5y from both sides. Add 9 to both sides. Divide by 2. And we find that y equals 7. Lastly, the question asks us to find the measure of each angle. To do that, we simply substitute these values back in. Let's go ahead and substitute 7 for y into our right angle. Well, the right located angle, not the actual right angle. We get 7 times 7 minus 9, 49 minus 9, 40. This one is 40 degrees, which means this one is also 40 degrees. Because a linear pair is 180, then this angle must be 140 degrees, which means this angle is also 140 degrees. So our angles are 40 degrees, 140 degrees, 40 degrees, and 140 degrees. <laughs> 